that in your mind now, 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 now. He. Don't ever speak of the Holy Spirit as a it or a thing. Don't ever do that. He is a person. We don't see him. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't see him personally, but we see what he does. We see the effects of what he does. The Holy Spirit has been present from the very beginning. From the very beginning. Go to the book of Genesis, if you will. From the very beginning, the Holy Spirit has been present. The very first chapter of the book of Genesis. In the very first verse through verse 2. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That word God means Elohim. It means the plurality of the one true God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit were there, present at the creation of the earth. The one true God. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, present at the creation of the earth. It says here in verse 2, The earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water. The Spirit of God was moving upon the deep. The Spirit of God was moving upon the darkness. The Spirit of God was moving on that which was waste and void the first work of the Holy Spirit is that of regeneration regeneration the Holy Spirit gets whatever it is that God is about to speak to ready to hear this word the Holy Spirit gets whatever God is about to speak to ready to hear and not just hear but to be acted upon by God's Word. And it said the Holy Spirit was moving, hovering upon the, over the deep, over the darkness. That, that word there that, that says waste and void and dark translated has the word chaos in it there was chaos on this this void planet that we live on now it was in total disarray it was in total uproar it was covered in darkness but what was going on underneath of the darkness was in total uproar whether whether there were volcanoes erupting whatever it was i don't know but the word there is chaos and the Holy Spirit moved upon that chaos and got it ready. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God started speaking to the earth and things on the earth, and things started happening on the earth. But the Holy Spirit was there first, getting it ready for God to speak to it. And just as God uses the Holy Spirit to get things ready for the creation of this world, he gets it ready for the new creation. He gets things ready for the new creation. The new creation is when Jesus Christ comes into your heart. All of you can probably look back to a time and a place in your life when there was chaos going on in your life. You can probably look back to a time in your life when there was darkness over you continually. You can probably look back at a time in your life